So we're going to talk today about your chakras in dealing with all the emotions and anxiety that it's coming up today and coming up these days with everything going on. And I brought Patty, who is our chakra expert, <laughs> in to talk to us about it because we had an amazing conversation. Uh, we started an amazing conversation just a few minutes ago and I said, wait, let's record this. So my question for you, Patty, was that um, all the fear and anxiety that's going on, where do you think we're processing it? Because at times I can feel my heart go faster. Sometimes I can feel my stomach hurt. Sometimes I feel like I have to pee. <laughs> um, um, and, and I can feel all of this confusing energy going around. So how do I, how do I work on this? Okay, let's get clear on the basic anatomy of the chakras and who's doing what. So we register and process everything in the heart chakra, and there's a really good reason for that. In the heart chakra is where our soul connects in, and our soul is doing the recording of all of our experiences in our life. And um, that is so important because our soul takes all of these experiences and is the foundation of how do we master life, right? Then we have our solar plexus, and our solar plexus is the the will, mm -hmm. and how do I make changes in my, my world, how do I express myself, and how do I feel about myself in the world, and... And when you're, when you have a lot of um, pushback, like your world is changing, you start to feel it here. Oh yeah, right in the, right there in the, in the stomach, you the get the butterflies, feeling. yeah. Now the gut feeling that you're talking about is lower, that's in the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is where the emotional body hooks in and links in and that's its, like its foundation. So when we're feeling upset or our emotions are really turbulent, that's when we start to feel like I got a pee or I have, um, into, uh, not indigestion, but um, uh, intestinal tract, like ow, and you want to um, just you know grab your stomach and speaking of grabbing your stomach when you do this you are blocking other people's emotions from coming into that chakra oh. so you might find a lot of people sitting or holding their hands in front of them just like that that's exactly what they're doing like this when they're doing this they are blocking people from exerting their will on you from manipulation and, and when you clutch your pearls <laughs> <laughs> when you clutch your pearls you're saying I'm overwhelmed I don't want any more input uh, from what's going on in the world. Okay, so we're all stressed, oh, yeah. and we don't need to talk. I mean, we have a pandemic, and we that's not new, and everyone in the world is experiencing this. So all this energy is going around all of us. Um, any room that you walk into, it's like, I don't know if I can talk about anything but this. And I can feel it in my body. So now, what? how do I, how do I start working on it just on my own? First thing you want to do is get your emotions in control, and that's with the, um, the sacral chakra. And um, you want to work with calming the stormy seas. Now, emotions are only emotions. They're not thought. You, you don't think things through with your emotions. The emotions are actually power. And so you want your emotional center and your sacral chakra to be very on a neutral, even keel. So you want to offload, release all those excessive emotions that are in your sacral chakra. So if I'm just home by myself and I'm feeling it, how do I start doing that? You close your eyes and you take a deep breath and then you bring your focus to your sacral chakra, which is just below your belly just, button. And it's orange and you let it open up and release into the root chakra. Then you open your root chakra and release it, release it straight into the earth. Okay. So if you're finding that that's not exactly working, then you bring in the color purple and meditate on the color purple and ask that the color purple come in and soothe and calm that chakra. So if someone's listening right now, they can just say, just visualize this and you can start to feel it happening. You can. Okay, so I start to balance my emotions and then what do I do? Then you wanna work with the heart chakra and um, strengthen the heart chakra. You want that heart chakra nice and strong so you can handle whatever is in your environment around you, whatever is coming. And you do that by um, 
opening up your heart chakra again and you can bring in the color green if you like to meditate on that color green strengthen Love that it. emerald yeah yeah and um, that is brings harmony and balance to all of the circumstances in your life so if you are in harmony and balance with yourself what is within is mirrored in the outside happens on the outside it's not instant but if you keep bringing that emerald green and that harmony and balance into the heart chakra it's going to start holding on and, and doing it and, and and then you can start processing mm -hmm. i know um last thursday man i had a just a huge download of information i met with like first response responders and and the emergency management and and disaster management in our city and I was doing okay and a little, a little quiet until all of a sudden I was around other people. And then it was like, what? Yeah. So it was, it, I had to take a minute and like, okay, I'm processing everything. So maybe take a minute and breathe, turn mm -hmm. off Facebook. Absolutely. Self-protect. And uh, give yourself like 30 minutes, just at least 30 minutes. Like I just hit something yeah. really hard. Well, the thing is that if we're being requested to... Um, self-quarantine or isolate ourselves you have to isolate your mind too you have to disconnect from the universal mind the the group think otherwise you are overstimulating yourself over and over and over again and you're going to react to that over and over and over again and what you're just doing is you're filling mm -hmm. your house of cards um we this is the mandala for the healing um heart chakra sticker that we have and um, we have some images up on social media. It's it's a new product for us, but I thought this might be something for you to just kind of dig into and look at and meditate on when you're working on balancing out that heart chakra because of all the information that you're getting. Okay, so what else? Um, just to, so we can wrap this up and give people let people go and and take care of themselves. What what are we going to do with our solar plexus? How does this work in? With the the solar plexus, you do also want to come to a place of neutral. So bring your attention to that solar plexus. Imagine that beautiful, clear, yellow light just filling your solar plexus. And if there's any dingy kind of colors in there, just let them, again, flow into the sacral, flow into the root, and out. Because we, we're changing a lot. We're changing a lot of how we do things and how we process things and, and identity stuff. If you are someone who you know, goes to work and does these things, or if you're a DJ and all of your events are canceled, it's really challenging your identity of yourself. So go ahead and, and work on that that solar plexus. Like, it's okay. You're it, This is short. This is not for the rest of your life. So it's okay to, to change who you are for the moment or change what you process and do for a moment. And um, there's a lot of uh, self-employed people and service workers and stuff out there. And um, just keep tuning in to, like, things like the Small Business Administration, um, what they're going to do for unemployment, what they're going to do, different relief, um, and know that it's we're going to get through this. And and this is 100% the time to reach out. If you are struggling and, and, you, and you're maybe ashamed of it or you don't have enough food, this is time for us to really reach out because I want to help and the people. Every, every person I know is interested in helping the people around them. They just don't know how. So if you need help, you got to give people a way to help you. We love you here at Coventry. We're here to support you and we're going to hold that space for you. And we're going to keep putting out videos like this to help you through. Um, look for more videos like this and Storm and I are going to launch Keep It Magic again to, to give you many ways to find some solace in your moment. Everybody keep it magic, keep it going, and um, we, we're going to get through this. Stay strong.